Hello there, my lovelies. How are you doing today? I hope you're all right. I'm okay because it's my favorite day. It's Friday. Woohoo! So sorry about the weather. It's a bit drizzly. But fingers crossed we're going to have a lovely weekend. Hope so. Or just a dry weekend would be fab. But we'll have to see. I think it's going to be warm next week though. Um, right, let me tell you what we're going to do today. We're going to finish off our spellings of the months of the year. So we're going to do the last three. And then we're going to have a look at the alternative spellings that we've learned so far of the ooh, you sound. And then we'll write a sentence. So, first of all, I would like you to write for me the days of the week. Been doing lots of practice of these, haven't we? So, I'd like you to write Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and we can check just to see if there's any that you're still finding tricky, and then we can go over them next week. If you get your, um, your grown-ups to just let me know, okay? So we have Monday, Monday. Then we have Tuesday. Oh, and we're doing that sound today, aren't we? The U. Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Well done. Right, if you have got all of these right, ask your grown-ups to email me or Miss Robinson. Or you can tell us on Monday for our Skype and we'll give you a merit. Okay? Are you ready? Let's have a look. How did you do? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday... Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Good job. Right, so we can do our days of the week. How about we do our months of the year so far? I'll help you with the spellings. I'll talk you through them. And then we'll do those final three. So we'll start with January. And the U sound in January is just an U. Okay? Capital letter, Jan, U, it's just an R, uh, Ari, January. Next is Feb, Ru, Ari, so it's a capital F, Feb, R, and then that O uh, for the U sound again, U, Ari, January, February, March, we can sound that one out, can't we? Capital M, Arch, April, starts with an A for Ava, April, May, has the A sound like day, capital M, A. June is a split digraph. June. July starts with the same two letters as June. And it ends in a E, July. August, the R 
from August is a capital A and an U, isn't it? Then we have G, UST on the end. And then for September, we can chunk it. September, capital S, Sep, Tem, B. And it ends in a better letter, uh, doesn't it? Right, should we see how we did? So, January. Jan, you, Harry. Well done. Give it a tick if it's right, change if it's not. Feb, Ru, Harry. March, that one's easy, isn't it? March. April, an A for Ava. April. Split digraph June. July is spelt the beginning's the same as June, but then it's an L and a Y on the end. August, we've got that A and O for the O sound. August. And September. Well done, September. Good job. Right, rub those out and we'll have a look at those final three months of the year. I wonder if you can tell me which three months they are. We've had January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, oh, 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 October, November. And last one, December. So let's start with October. Grab your pen and your board. October has a capital O. And a capital O is just like an O, but it's a bit bigger. So a nice big O. And then it starts with oct. Oct, a bit like octopus or octagon. So we have the O. Now in October, we have an O oh in the middle that makes the O oh sound. Oct, O. Oh. Then, a bit like September, we have B at the end. B. Oct, O, oh, B. So, when I said the month November, I shook my head. Why do you think I shook my head? November. November starts with the tricky word no. So we need to do a capital N. Now a capital N is up and down and up. N. And then we have an O. Oh. No. Now if we chunk no, them, b. We start with no. Then we need to write them, v, e, m, v, e, m. No, them. And then we just pop b at the end, just like October and September. B. Well done. Now our final one, December. I think this is the trickiest one to spell. We start with a capital D. So we take it down and go around. D. D. Now the S sound is actually a K. And I remember that December starts with a D because it says the word deck and it reminds me of the song deck the halls with bars of holly the Christmas song because we have Christmas in December we start it with deck but we really say a s sound for that curly k 
So we have des m b at the end. All of these last ones start with a b, don't they? Um, end with a b, not start. October, November, December. Well done. Right, rub those out and then I want to see if you can remember. I don't know why I've rubbed them out. I don't need to write them again. So I'll help you. I'll talk you through it. October, capital O. Using your capital O, can you write oct? Oct. In October, what letter makes the O sound? And then, how do we finish it? How do we finish it off with b? We have a b and an a. October. Okay. Would you like to have a look? How did you do? Did you get it? Well done. Next, could you write for me? No. November. So we start with a capital N, up and down and up. And we write the word no. Don't want any vem. No. Vem. B. You write vem and then b. No. Them, but how did you do? Let's have a little peek. There we go, November. Good job. And last one. This is the tricky one. So a capital D. D. E. What made that s sound? It wasn't the the letters. Was it? It was another letter. It was a curly k. D. S. M. E. M. December. So we finish it with that b. Okay. There we go. How did you do? Did you remember all of those spellings? Keep practicing them lots of spellings haven't we really good job well done right now we are going to move on to our ooh and you alternative spellings I'm just trying to remember which ones we have done oh we've done five we've done five and one of them is just the letter oh. so rub your board out and then oh it was gonna be straight and then I did a wobble <laughs> chop it in half chop the top into thirds and chop the bottom into try not to draw my trousers drop the uh, chop the bottom into halves okay so we've got Five. So our spellings of you are oo. The first one we learnt was that one. Oo. Then I think we did that one next, can't remember. Oo. It's just the o, oh, isn't it? Then we did Ooh. Ooh. Then we had our split digraph. Ooh. And then we had, it's like the split digraph, but without the consonant in the middle, just an O and an O. So write those down on your board. And then we can have a read of some words and then we can decide which spelling they go with. 
So let me grab my flash cards. They've done me well with these little cards. <laughs> okay, can you read these words for me? Food. Cartoon. Balloon. Flu. Through. That's when you throw something through. News. Moon. Blue. Not like the colour. Blue. I blew a bubble. Cube. Cube. Rule. Statue. Then you do rescue chew two month of the year, June. We knew that though, didn't we? We already knew that one. Okay, I'm going to pick some words. Da, 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 da. One, two, three, four, five. What was the last spelling that I've not done? It's the split digraph. Just like to sing to myself sometimes, you know. I'm not going crazy, don't worry. Right. Let's see. Okay. Grab your boards then, and I'd like you to write the word in. And I'll do it as well, because I keep forgetting which I've done and which I've not. So, the first one, I'll give you an easy one. Which spelling of you and oo is June? J -u -n June. June. The month, June. Oh, we've just done it, haven't we? Which one was it? Can you write it in the correct spelling? It's the split digraph. Well done. How about the word? Do. I do not like the rain. No, I'm lying. I do like the rain. It helps my plants in the garden. Do. Write it down. Do. It's just the oh, isn't it? It's a short one. Do. Uh, next, can you write the word? Then you, then you. Then you. Well done if you got that one. Then you. Next is the word news like a newspaper or oh, watch the news news can watch it on TV can't you news and last one I wonder which spelling it could possibly be cartoon Starts with a curly c cartoon. Cartoon, well 
job done. Very good job. Fab. Well done. Let me just collect up my cards. Gosh. Wow. I don't even know what we're going to do next week. We're going to have to do some more alternative spellings, aren't we? She's getting so good at these. Right, last job, and then you are free to enjoy your Friday. Can you write the sentence for me? The new moon shines brightly in October. The new moon shines brightly in October. The new moon shines brightly in October. Just pause if you need a little bit more time. Here you go. The new, it's like news, isn't it? But it's shortened. The new moon shines, split digraph, bright, trigraph, brightly in October. And I've just rubbed off the top of my brush. In October. Remember, October's got a capital letter, hasn't it? Do you have your capital letters, finger spaces, full stops? Sophia, have you got that full stop? Can I rub it off your head? <laughs> well done. Okay, guys, thank you for joining me today for that thrilling epi episode of Miss Baldwin Does Phonics through YouTube. Oh, I can't wait to speak to you on Monday on Skype. That's going to be really fun. Okay, so. That's all we've got time for. It's now the end of phonics and the start of Friday. Woo! Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you very soon. I'll see you on Monday for Skype. Okay, see you later.